All right. Hey guys, welcome back um, to <clears throat> our screencast. Um, today, what we're going to do is continue working through activity 7.1, which is dimensioning. And today we're going to do part four and show you the angular dimensioning. Um, as you recall, last time in part three, we showed you the coordinate dimensioning. So once again, I'm going to get things started and then you will be able to finish it on your own. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go to base and I need to find 7.1 number four, which is angular and bring that in. Start with my front view, go to my top view and go over to my right side view and I'm going to hit OK. All right, so let's um, annotate, and it says use the angular method to dimension the angles. Um, we're also going to want to use datum dimensioning um, because that's the overall preferred method for doing that. So I'm going to do the front view, and then you guys can finish up the top and the side view. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to dimension. And first thing I'm going to grab is I'm going to grab the left side and get this dot, bring that up, click on it. Okay. And then I'm going to do the all the way over the overall width, bring that up and hit okay. So now I'm ready to do my angles. So for the angles, remember for an angle, you need um, two lines around a vertex. So I'm going to click on the first line of the angle and then click on the second line of the angle and then kind of drag it out. And you notice how I get a number of degrees. So that's 63 degrees and I hit OK. And then I'll do my second angle. Now this one is a little bit different because if you notice, if I do that, I get 124 degrees, but we don't want that. We really want um, the degrees down from the top. So I click that and I get 56 degrees. So there's my two degrees. And then I'm going to finish up um, with the rest of my datum dimensions. Go to that dot there. That's 1.25. And then I will do my verticals. So there's only one vertical here on this part. So I go there, drag that over, and there's my dimensions for the front view. Again, you will dimension um, the sides, and the right side and the top view um, before you submit your part. And so remember our last step for the base is to bring in the part again and I want ISO. So I'm gonna go here, hit the home button to make that an ISO, drag that into place, make sure it's shaded, and then I'm gonna hit okay. Last step, edit the field text. So this is gonna be 7.1 number four and make sure that you have the author. And for some reason, the date thing is still a little bit messed up, so we won't worry about that. And our scale today is one, one. And I hit okay. So I go ahead and do a save as, and I will save that as, 7.1 number four. And that is how you do that particular drawing. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.